Hi, and thanks for watching another video by Sebastian Ektal Photography. In this video, I'm going to review a photographer uh, that has sent me five of his best photos. And this is my first video I've done about reviewing other people's work. And uh, I'm not really sure how I'm going to edit the video in the end if I'm going to show the full uh, screen video or uh, full screen of the photos or if I'm going to be showing in the video as well. I'm not really sure if you got any suggestions about that. Please leave a comment if you like these types of videos. If you want me to take a look at your photos uh, just uh, check the description down below and let's begin. Uh, this five photos is taken by a man called uh, Manpreet Singh. Hopefully I pronounced it uh, right Manpreet. Let's check out the first photo. So here we have a rose and it's pretty cool. I like uh, the uh, drops on the uh, roses and uh, I also like the color uh, I would probably get rid of the left side uh, ro the, the, the pink color to the left side maybe make that black and uh, instead of uh, pink as it is now it's kind of too much for me but the rose itself it's a pretty cool, nice shot, and Manpreet also sent me something about his photos. So he, about his photo, he wrote, uh, this is a picture of a rose, I just clicked it in auto mode, zooming the lens. It's taken in the morning, uh, that's probably why there's the, uh, the drops on the rose. Uh, from the water uh, yeah and he, he uh, wanted that drops that's why he took it in the morning he writes so it's a cool shot of a rose so next photo is a photo let's start by reading what he wrote uh, it's a scene of a park in our city where every day number of pigeons would come to eat wheat, chickpeas, grains, etc. And I had clicked it in very low ISO and an exposure time of one of a x hundred of a second. And yeah, this looks like a tourist attraction of some kind. And uh, I'm not really a fan of the lens flare that's going on here. It's pretty much less, much lens flare, and uh, that's maybe you were after. But what I like about this photo is the birds. It's really, really cool to see that many birds fly up in the air at the same time. It would be a lot, lot cooler as well if uh, you see the birds on the uh, the ground. If all all birds would fly up in the air at the same time. Cool shot. The sky is a bit burnt out. Um, I would probably try to go out even earlier in the morning or uh, late later in the evening uh, and then you will probably also get rid of the uh, tourists. Uh, it looks like a big tourist attraction. It's a cool, cool uh, uh, attraction and uh, yeah, there's also another photographer down in the right corner and we can see in the far, far away that those are also taking photos back there. There's an, a post back there as well, probably maybe you can post the photo a bit so you get rid of that blue poster in the background as well. Uh, and as I said, the lens flare, maybe get rid of that. Uh, be careful when you shoot into the sun. Cool shot, man. Pretty cool shot. So that's 
So the third photo, it's a macro photo. And I like that Manfred sent me different types of photos. He sent me macro photos and as you saw the building of the other photos and we have more, two more to come. So this is a, let's see, Stinger B. <laughs> uh, it's a pick by the shop in macro, high ISO and exposure time of 125 of a second, 104 focal length. And yeah, it's a cool stinger. Yeah, it's an okay shot, man, right? Probably maybe maybe burn the background out and maybe yeah. It's a cool cool animal. Maybe crop in a little more. Let's take the uh, fourth shot. And here we have a uh, crow. A pretty cool crow. And uh, uh, the first thing I notice when I see this photo is that there's a lot of room in the top of the photo, which uh, I wouldn't have it there. I would probably crop the photo or shoot the photo rather uh, with the crow's head being in top of the photo and also as you can see in the, the lower part of the photo his uh, feet or what you say crow feet <laughs> is missing and uh, a bit of the left side that doesn't bother me that much uh, but a nice bokeh I like the um, blurred out background and I what I like the most about this photo is the eye of the crow and it, it's really really cool and you can see some cool reflections in there that makes you want to look more into the photos and that's pretty cool pretty pretty cool uh, fifth photo is probably my favorite and I like it. Uh, let's start by reading what Manfred himself says about it. It's my favorite, he says, and uh, it's an old fort in our state. Evening time, when I got a chance to click it. No flash is used, and in auto mode I have clicked it in my first try. Okay, it's a nice photo, Manfred. Uh, let me tell you what I like. I like that you actually made a silhouette of it and <laughs> that you didn't use the flash of course uh, that's very very good in this case <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of flash uh, built-in flash uh, photography I like external flash <laughs> uh, never mind about that but uh, I like the silhouette thing I would maybe crop it a lot lot further so that you see the fort more uh, so it takes up more about the uh, the frame and uh, maybe later in the evening as well I like the flare from the sun uh, it's not really it's not that dark that I want uh, you can see you can see uh, that uh, it's not black totally black silhouette but that it would be cool if it were that black and that were the five photos, man, Brit. Nice collection. And some other suggestions. Uh, I'm kind of bugged uh, by the uh, your watermark in your photos. Uh, I know you want to protect your photos. Uh, it's your choice. It takes a lot of my... I, I view uh, on your watermarkings a lot. If you want me to take a look at your photos, please check the description down below. Give me a mail that you're interested and I will take it from there and uh, I'll message you uh, from there on. I would really really love to uh, take a look at your photos. So this was the first uh, review of uh, a photographer, amateur photographer or uh, whatever you are in photography. <laughs> Thanks for watching and remember, have fun photographing. Peace 